back to another day on the Garden Isle. It's me, Spencer Lee, back with another video. Anyways, uh, we are out here at a new location for me, at least. Um, and uh, yeah, <laughs> I was just doing a little bit of research uh, back home, just trying to see what spots would be super good for sunrise, or at least an area where we can see the sunrise. Um, possibly uh, not drive super far, like down to Poipu, how we did the first thing. So, found this beach, drove down, only half an hour from where we're staying. It's actually a pretty good location. Sun is gonna rise just to the left of the mountain, so hopefully we'll get some good light coming in because there is a lot of waves, there isn't a lot of wind, which means there should be a lot of salt to spray in the air. Hopefully, we'll, we'll take a look around, we'll try and find some light rays after sunrise as well. And then possibly hit the beach. I hear this is a good uh, swimming spot for some clarity. Might be a little too wavy for that, but we'll, we'll see what happens this morning. Okay. I'm gonna set up a couple time lapses here. I don't know if I'm about using the big camera for a time lapse, but we have these beautiful rocks here in the foreground. So I kind of wanted to take some flow shots of them uh, with the sunrise. So, yeah, let's just get set up and enjoy the sunrise. So it's a very, very clear morning, not a cloud in sight, except for kind of low on the horizon. But above the mountains, absolutely no clouds. But what the light is doing from the side, and you can see it even now, it's casting a nice glow on the mountain because of all the, the waves that are crashing and all that atmosphere, all that salt water, is kicked up in the air. So I'm hoping that when the sun comes up, which will be like slightly to the left over here, we will get a lot of uh, color casted from uh, the sun and catching a little bit of the frame of the mountain. I don't even know why I'm talking because I can't talk right now. <laughs> Anyways, we'll show you guys the competition with the 16 to 35 this morning. We just have these rocks leaning up. Oh my goodness, that you saw that wave. Did you see that wave? Oh my goodness, we're gonna have a great time this morning. We're gonna be shooting these, those waves with the backlight. Oh my goodness. Um, anyways, we have this big rock here in the foreground. It's kind of the main big rock here <laughs> on the beach. Uh, and then we have these small little rocks that lead it directly into the ocean. When the waves crash in, like how you see here, um, they create some really nice textures as they flow in and they flow out. So, just trying to get that leading line pointed directly towards the mountain, and then hopefully the sky just uh, complements the rain. But we're just trying to figure out the right shutter speed for this, and yeah, hopefully it'll be pretty good. I'm, I'm hopeful for some good stuff this morning. in light on that sand, that reflection. Ooh, so good. Wave coming in now. Bingo, that's the almost a shot right there. Ooh, very close. Very similar. We need a wave to come up and kind of light up the sand that's right underneath us. Right over here. There we go. Boom. Now watch all this sand recedes. Oh, it's just a little, a little bit of light catching that. Ooh, so good. I like it. I like it a lot.
All right, so hopefully some of those wide angle shots worked out. I shot for like maybe like five more minutes and then the sun just got super harsh. That's the thing about these clear sunrises is that the light gets harsh. If you're shooting directly into the sun, the light gets harsh really fast. Um, but what I'm really loving, and you're, you're just looking at the telephoto shot here, is all of that golden atmosphere coming in on the side of the cliff. So I'm just waiting essentially for a wave similar to like that. Oh, that's a beautiful shot of the, all of those waves crashing in. It's not like a nice clean barrel, but it does have nice backlight mist. So we're gonna try to shoot some of that right now. Hopefully we'll get some good shots. I got a nice video of it, so I'm not gonna worry too much about the video. Just gonna take some stills and yeah, just have having an amazing time here at this beach this morning. All right, I have no idea if this time lapse is going to turn out well. But what I am going to try to do is see if I can get like some movement in all of that sea spray and that mist uh, on the time lapse. Hopefully, hopefully it turns out pretty cool. Hopefully it turns out okay. Um, but yeah, we're just going to let that run for a little while, while also flying the drone at the same time. I'm not sure about the clarity. It's looking pretty wavy, so I don't know if we're going to get anything. Plus, the light hasn't reached that end of the beach anyways either. But uh, yeah, it's a... Uh, Great time to be alive. Beautiful, beautiful, fantastic light. Um, and yeah, it's drone time, so let's, uh, let's send the bird up.
fun little drone flight, but the tide I think is rising and coming in, so we need to get the heck out of here. <laughs> Uh, I wish I could stay and swim. Maybe we'll see how the water is down there, but it looks pretty wavy. But yeah, I gotta get out of here before my camera gear gets wet. Whew. I'm not sure if you can tell from the scene in front of us, but we have a beautiful, beautiful atmospheric scene. It's just like all of the sea spray and all of the mist. And then com combine that with the black background of the mountain. It just, all of the sea spray is just moving. Uh, Pretty much just out to sea, I think is where it's moving. So I'm just trying something. I'm trying to see if it, if it'll pick up on the time lapse, which I think it will. Uh, the challenge is going to be how we're going to blend it together so that we can get uh, this, the sun kind of not as prominent uh, in the frame and then also get the entirety of the mountain and then just all the mist kind of flowing in. So I might just crop down. I might have to do like some, some blending in time, the time lapse in DaVinci Resolve. But yeah, what a beautiful, beautiful little scene right here. Hopefully it gets a little bit of something, but yeah, pretty awesome. Okay, now that shot, that shot looks pretty good. Uh, go the rocks in the foreground, maybe we'll try long exposure, wide angle, sun star coming through that, uh, that tree. Uh, too bad I'm gonna be using the lower resolution camera, but Woo. my goodness, I'm excited for that one. Let's give it a try. Beautiful, no clouds, beautiful atmosphere. You know, couldn't ask for anything more. Um, but it is a brisk, clear day. I mean, I'm looking for clouds. I can see a little bit of clouds, but overall, not a whole lot of anything. So I think we're gonna drive back towards Princeville, Honolulu side. Maybe charge the drone battery that I uh, went halfway through. Um, if it is still clear on that side, there's a shot that I wanted to try and get if the light is hitting Honolulu correctly. Um, you know, this time of year, the sun doesn't really hit the uh, mountains the way I uh, typically like it when it's like more direct. But we'll see if we get some nice side light or if it looks interesting enough to shoot, then maybe we'll shoot uh, we'll, we'll shoot one shot that I've been trying to chase for a while. Um, but the conditions just haven't lined up yet. So we'll see if it's uh, clear back on that side. But yeah, pretty good sunrise. Um, have a a uh, little bit of time before we have to make our way back out to the west side for sunset. Uh, we're gonna go shoot Waimea Canyon this afternoon and then do a, that uh, the Poly Coast sunset hike that we did last time. Uh, that'll be a great way to end off our trip here in Kauai. And then one more sunrise tomorrow and then we're back home on Oahu and it's back to business. <laughs> but yeah, let's, uh, let's drive back to Princeville and see how the light is over there. Brisk, clear day here in Hanalei. Uh, as you can tell by the uh, photos that I showed you, the light isn't exactly coming in from the right angle. I wanted to shoot a nice clean shot of the mountain at the waterfall, which I'm, I'm not really quite getting. 
at least right now. But I am going to take advantage of these clear conditions, try to head down to the beach somewhere, uh, maybe get some clarity shots, you know, just utilize the beautiful, beautiful conditions we have this morning. And then maybe on the way back, the light might uh, shift a little bit. Um, we'll maybe possibly get some more light on the mountains and uh, that waterfall area. So hopefully we'll still be able to get the shot. I'm not super hopeful. Um, direct light on that specific mountain range is kind of only a summertime thing, I think. Um, but hopefully we'll get something good. Um, but yeah, beautiful, beautiful uh, morning this morning. Beautiful day. The forecast is looking pretty good. I'm really hoping that those these clouds stay clear for pretty much the entire day because I uh, kind of need some clear skies for tonight's sunset. Um, but yeah, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Uh, we're just gonna hit the beach real, real quick and uh, yeah, I'll see you guys there. say that was pretty pretty nice hopefully those shots came out if anything above the surface shots I think they came out pretty nice but I hope I got some good over um, yeah, I think that's gonna about do it for us here we're gonna head back see if the light is hitting the mountain <laughs> the way we would like probably not but we'll see and then, uh, yeah go home charge batteries and uh, yeah hopefully uh, hopefully we'll get some light on that mountain that's what I'm really hoping for but, Pretty nice. Beautiful day. <laughs> we tried to go back and the light wasn't as great as I thought it would only oh, fell down a little bit. Um, it was still very uh, much uh, shadowy on the mountain. So yeah, definitely gonna have to redo that shot with the uh, um, with the mountains during the summertime when it's nice, brisk and clear because I know that it looks a lot better here. During that time, anyways, oh, we are. I'm just gonna hold this here because we're almost home. Also stopped for a little bit, took some uh, shots of the Nene Goose, uh, just chilling underneath the tree, which was nice as well. So we're gonna spend uh, the rest of this morning just like packing up my things because tonight I'm gonna get home late and then tomorrow I'm gonna leave and check out super early. So we'll uh, spend some time doing that and then hopefully um, get out in time so that we can make it over to Waimea Canyon by this afternoon, late this afternoon, and then hopefully have a good sunset hike. Hopefully this weather stays clear. It's looking okay, I guess, for the most part. The mountains seem clear. There's a little bit of clouds, though, lower on the island, so we'll see if that affects anything. Um, but yeah, it was a pretty good morning. Nice, calm, uh, sunny conditions. And yeah, thankfully got some pretty good shots. But uh, yeah, we'll see you guys when we uh, get ready to uh, go hiking.
everybody we made it to the Grand Canyon of the Pacific there she is uh, we're just parked on the side of the road we got here really early like 2 30 <laughs> sunset isn't until 6 so we have plenty of time to just chill uh, do some time lapses over here wanted to come back and time lapse this area I figured I would also just skip the main lookout because well I don't think the view is as nice as this little pullover over here so yeah we're gonna go outside run some time lapses for like an hour or so um, hopefully not kill our batteries too much, but we do have stuff charged, which is good. Um, and then, yeah, we'll make our way, slowly make our way up the valley, see if we can time-lapse any more areas, uh, on here. But, yeah, made it. <coughs> Tired, but whatever. That's part of the thing, part of how it is. All right, got some time lapse is going hope you enjoy them take some b-roll with you take some b-roll with the iphone but yeah three second intervals because we have plenty of time three hours till sunset want to start hiking maybe around four o'clock ish so we have about an hour to uh, time lapse so i think i'm gonna set this to i don't know half an hour half an hour should be good to time lapse here then we'll go try to check out another place time lapse for another half hour and then by that time we should be good to go up to the to the lookout to walk down the ridge. Beautiful, clear conditions. There's some clouds, but so far it's remained clear. <sighs> Just gotta love this view, honestly. to take some panoramic shots with this one lower megapixel but pano will bring it up for sure so let's give that a try
granddaddy view of them all. This is why I keep coming back to Kauai. So I'm stoked to actually get onto get onto the trail finally after a couple of days of lackluster weather reports. Today finally looked pretty good. It's not gonna be the best, but pretty good. Check out that view though behind this. You can barely see it. I'll show you guys in a second. Oh yeah, photogasm. Look at those clouds. Look at that atmosphere. Could be good, could be bad. If it stays there and just clusters together, could be bad. Also could be good. We shall see how it is. <laughs> oh, man. Love this trail. I didn't do any talking head clips because there are other people at the lookout with me, but please enjoy the photos and videos that we got from this incredible sunset.
oh microphone problems this will forever be a bane of my existence here on youtube but anyways thank you guys all so much for tuning in to this back to kawaii series and for watching all of my youtube videos for that matter I will be taking a little bit of a break from YouTube to focus on an upcoming art show that I have later on this year. So if you want to continue to follow along on my photographic adventures, please give me a follow on Instagram at spencerly808. And make sure you hit that subscribe button as well as that notification bell to make sure that you're notified as soon as I start posting videos back here on YouTube. But thanks for watching. We'll see you guys next time.